Los Angeles native Kenechi Udeze showed up on USC's campus in the summer of 2000, an overweight and under-recruited defensive tackle without the promise of a scholarship. I wasn't a big time recruit coming out of high school. I was a one star recruit. I was roughly 400 pounds when I got to camp here. And when I got here, it wasn't even more or less a, a hey, how you doing? It was, hey, let's get on the scale. I had to lose the weight. So I wasn't really guaranteed a scholarship here. It was, hey, if you lose 30 pounds, we'll make sure there's a scholarship here for you. Udeze redshirted his freshman season and earned a scholarship after dropping more than 100 pounds. Coaches moved him to defensive end, and Udeze became a pivotal contributor on a legendary Trojan squad. Sacked by Kenichi Udeze. And that hurt, too. And Kegel is clobbered by Udeze. The Trojans capped the 2003 season with a victory at the Rose Bowl. Congratulations to Pete Carroll, his staff, and all of his Southern California Trojans. And Udeze decided he was ready for the National Football League. It was really an amazing time because who would have thought a 375-pound kid that showed up to USC on his own dime, $3.70, caught the bus to get here, would have the opportunity to not only become, you know, a NFL football player, but a first-round draft pick. The Minnesota Vikings selected Udeze 21st overall in the 2004 NFL Draft. The goal was always to be in the NFL. It was unreal. Like, I try to tell the guys, like, you, you get a chance to go play in the NFL, and you move further away from reality. You know, it, you play football, you, you prepare for football, that's your life. And it's an amazing life, it is. After the 2007 season, Udeze was a 24-year-old living his dream. And with the excitement of a new contract looming, he went home for the off season. The day after the Super Bowl, um, when, the, when the Patriots lost to the Giants, I was heading to go work out. I got to the top of the stairwell, I was lightheaded, fell backwards. Udeze went to the hospital, and after undergoing a series of tests, waited for news from the doctor. And he said, son, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you have a very aggressive form of leukemia. And he had his hand on my shoulder, and I slapped his hand off my shoulder. I said, cancer? I said, no, not me. Just, just in reflecting on, on Kanechi, he's a first round draft pick. He's overcome things throughout his career, uh, his weight early on in high school. Uh, to earn in a scholarship at USC, and, and uh, he hates to let it go, and, and uh, I hate for him to let it go, but it's, it's really best for him. After six months of chemotherapy and receiving a clean bill of health, Udeze attempted a comeback to football, but the permanent nerve damage, a result of the chemo, prevented his return to the gridiron, at least as a player. You could be 24 years old, you can be ready to, getting ready to sign a contract extension, with your NFL organization, and then the very next day, you're wondering what you're going to do with the rest of your life. Go through it. That's why I got into coaching, because if I can do anything with myself and the legacy that I started as a player, why not give back? Udeze was named the Trojans' defensive line coach in January of 2016, a return to where it all began. He knows the tradition, he knows the history, he knows what it takes to be a Trojan, to see his knowledge of the game. You know, he, he could almost still play it if he wanted to. He looks like he can. Not only can he teach it, but he can also show the kids exactly what to do. I'm just thankful that he's here with us. It's not a day that goes by. I wish I was still playing football. And that's one of the coolest things about being back here. They know that. <laughs>